pounds nails get really long. Keeping your pet's nails at the right length is important because they need a grip on perches. They need to get around. Long nails are really uncomfortable. And um, in the wild, when our different perches and different substrates, the nails seem to be fine. But in our in companion parrots, when they live much longer than they should, and when they get older, one of the common geriatric things we see is overgrown nails. But this little guy, who's really cute, he's, um, he's going to be pretty uncomfortable. And we're going to clip his nails. We don't need to tie them, it's a little bit tricky. He's 24 years old, to give you an idea. So this is the oldest lorry, this is the oldest lorry that we're actually seeing in this practice. But the owner's obviously doing a very good job. He's just here for nails. So if you want to watch me just do so, do the nails quickly. So what we do is we um essentially I'm essentially I'm just taking a cat nail clipper and cutting it back to where I'd like it to be. Sometimes I might believe that this is a dremel. And then sometimes I might put a, a styptic powder just to seal the seal the It's interesting that some nails are pretty short and others are very long. Even though it's, I mean, even though you guys are watching it on the video, I'm trying to be as quick as I can because I don't want to stress the birds too much. As you might see, we're taking it quite a bit. Does the bird have any disabilities that would have caused them to grow like this? I'm not really sure, but um, this is one of the oldest lorries in the world, so you know, kudos to the owner for getting it to this age. But obviously, I think it would be a lot better if it came for nails more often. And you can try and see that nails are very easy to do, it, but, have, but it takes a lot of experience to do them easily. To be able to handle a, a difficult lorry alone um, takes a little bit of experience, but this is how you would do the nails in a bird. When you go to an avian vet, this is what you'd expect when they do the nails. And get ready for the really bad nail. We're about to do that one. We haven't got to it yet. Last but not least, I have to use a different a different clipper just to get started on this one. It's gone completely around this. It's gone completely around it. So you can you can actually mm. see. So just think how happy he's going to be now. They can actually grow back into the skin, can't they? Yeah. They could grow back into the skin, but you know. When you've got an owner that's had a bird for 25 years, I mean, just remember that there's hundreds of lorries as pets. If lorry, lorry keep ownership is, is common, and to get a bird getting to 23 and a half years is good. I'm not saying they don't get older, but he's obviously doing a lot of things right for this bird, and he loves this bird a lot. He was very specific, the owner only do nails, nothing else. But at least now the feet can potentially go around the perch, he can hold. It's a lot better. Remember, we like natural branch perches, um, and a pet at this age ideally should have a perch like so. You know, we, we prefer natural branch. We prefer natural branch perches, even though they might not be good for the nails. At this stage in his life, he needs a comfortable perch. I'm not sure the perch that he sleeps on, but um, as you can see, one of the most common presentations we get at Birdvet Melbourne. Is for nail clipping and we do this literally three four times every single day and uh, that's why we do it relatively stresslessly and easily and as a side note you can actually train them to hold their feet up and do it voluntarily too that would be so for the, our best owners as Mel has said we can actually get we can actually get them to lift their foot on from one what you guys can do as clients if you want to keep the, the nails are just getting a little bit long if you cut them, you could get bleeding and it's quite scary. But if you take an emery board or nail file and you just file that little bit off, 
that's very safe, it's not painful, it's very easy to do, and I strongly recommend that. Just take a simple nail file and file the nails. Um, if you're not going to hurt your bird, and it's not stressful, you probably won't get bleeding. But uh, if you need it done further, we don't recommend you do this yourself. One, it's bleed. One, they'll bleed. Two, it could be painful to the bird. And three, you can break the relationship. Um, but we're very happy. It's so nice to have taken off, uh, you know, quite a lot. And uh, this little guy's going to be a very happy lorikeet.